Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This is Visha. Let me close this door. Okay. It is Visha. Hey guys, how y'all doing? And in today's video, we're going to be doing a how do I keep my hair healthy? I was asked this by uh, one of my subscribers and I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. It was close to oh shit. It was supposed to wash day anyway on my phone. I wrote down some um, tips. So if you see me looking down, because I'm looking at my phone, but I just got done washing my hair. I will leave that in the link up above. Okay, and as you some guys can see, my hair is not that dense or that thick like those luxury other naturals are. And you know what? they are lucky i mean my hair is not it's not dense at all so but anyways let's get right into the tips so my tip number one really thought that was gonna work i did so <laughs> my tip Number one is to make sure your ends are trimmed. Trim your ends. You got to let it go. Let it go. I was thinking about let it burn by Usher. <laughs> but you got to let them go, okay? You got to let them go. Do not try to hold on to your hair if they need to go. They just, they just need to go, okay? So that's one of my tips. Let the ends go. Trim. I now I trim my hair every three to four months. I recently just did a trim um, on my twist out video. I didn't go into details, but if you saw it, um, if you saw the video, you saw me twisting my hair and then clipping my ends. I like to do that. That's the way I trim my ends and that's how I like to do it. So yeah, make sure guys, if you think I'm not looking at you, I'm actually looking, what's that? Yeah, I don't even know what it's called at the top. Where you can look at yourself on the camera. I'm looking at that too. But anyways, trim, trim your ends. And I, yeah, like I was saying, I trim my ends every three to four months so now i trim my hair in march i will not trim it again it's march april may june july july or may that's when i will give myself another trim or after i do a protective style like um mm, after i can say like box braids or braids which i barely do but after I do a style like that, I will definitely take heed to my ends, okay? So that's my tip number one. And y'all be like, girl, just take the comb and detangle. I already detangled my hair. I'm like a avid finger detangler. And I will detangle it once I get all of my products in it. But baby yes <laughs> so yeah like i i'm gonna show y'all even with me finger detangling my hair still it just sheds it just sheds okay so let's go to tip number three create a wash day routine yes create a wash day routine like Set a day to the side just so that you can wash your hair. Y'all, I'm supposed to wash my hair every three, I mean every three, <laughs> um, once a week. And I'm being honest, my hair thrives when I wash it once a week. Sometimes I can go two weeks. Sometimes I go three weeks. Like this time I went three weeks without washing my hair. Which is a shame on me because I wore my twist for three days. And then I wore a twist out for a week. And then I had my hair in a poo for three days. And then I pre-pooed my hair and I never washed it. 
I'm just being honest. So create a day, stick to it. Stick to it every day that you create to do your hair. Like do not, um, once you have a routine, stick to it. So stick to your, your, your wash day routine. If you're gonna wash your hair, like so today is Friday, right? So I wash my hair Friday. If I'm sticking to my routine, I should be washing my hair again when? Friday. Why? Because I already told you guys, my hair likes to be washed every week. Do I do it? No. But when I do do it, I notice that my hair thrives. It really does thrive. Like it thrives on clean hair and that's mainly too because I am low porosity. We'll get um in, in that on another video on what porosity levels are, okay? And how I found out that I was um that I had that I am low porosity. So there one look so cute. I should have did too. I like to scratch my hair out every time um i wash it my hair see it gets tangled so easily and um and twist it, it really honestly does okay so let's break this i'm supposed to be looking at y'all but i'm looking at my my mirror behind me okay so number four I mean, I'm sorry, tip number three. Use hair products that your hair likes. Do not become a product junkie. Because of social media and <laughs> Guys, I had to learn that one the hard way. Yes, I did. What works for somebody else's hair does not necessarily work for my hair, y'all. Oh my God, I can feel that peppermint on my scalp and it feels so good. So I had to learn that the hard way. So what I stick to now is my Shea Moisture. I used to use the coconut and hibiscus, but I don't know if they changed their formula, but my hair doesn't like that anymore. So I switched to, so I went from that to, um, I went from that to, what is it? I went from that to, oh, my Kiki Curly Knot today, which I freaking love my Kinky Curly Knot today. I went from that to Kinky Curly Knot today. And then now I'm using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil um strength and restore that's what i use now and i love it so just stick to what your hair knows even if you want to do the natural route you make your own shampoo and your own like your own stuff um what is it called African black soap is a good clarifying shampoo castell soap is a good clarifying shampoo like you don't have to give your money to these businesses. <laughs> like you really honestly don't. Y'all I cut my hair and I can tell now that I cut it. Like you can't tell like when you're wearing it curly but now I can tell that I'm plaiting it that I cut it. Oh. Anybody else get like that? Like when you cut your hair you like, I cut it but it had to go. And let it go, let it go. <laughs> it, had, it had to go. So, okay. Ugh. All right. So now those two are there. And like I said, I'm doing this method because I want to stretch out my hair. Um, and who knows, these braids might stay in here for like three days until like Tuesday or something. And my body ain't gonna do nothing but put it back like that and ponytail and put on a hat i am a lazy natural okay so number four moisturize your hair 
at least once a day or every other day. You don't want your hair to be brittle. So you want to moisturize, not just moisturize, but you want to moisturize and seal. Um, you want to moisturize and seal your hair, okay guys? You do not want it just to, like you do your hair and then you go days and days and days. You know what, my child knocking, I can give y'all an example. Come in, Nevada. So, <laughs> so, you don't want your hair. I'm just gonna give y'all an example. Turn, turn me real quick. She came at the perfect time, right? You don't want your hair to look like, what the hell? Like this, dry. And it's dry because it's my fault. She, it needs to be moisturized. Well, first of all, it needs to be taken out and washed because I swear her hair trying to lock up and we ain't doing no dreads. So it needs to be taken. Like you don't want your hair to be, I'm so sorry. You don't want your hair to be like this. And we just using Nevaeh as an example. You want your hair to be moisturized and you want to make sure you seal and mm. let moisture. What? Why are you looking like that? Long. Who hair long? Oh. <laughs> when, okay, guys. So, true story. When people see my hair, because I barely, do I always, like, wear my hair out? No. Like, I don't. So, when they see my hair, it's already probably, like, in this pre-shrunken stage so she I usually wash my hair when the bed is in school right I wash it when, when she's in school and then I do like the twist the halo twist or I do twists and by the time I pick her up her hair is my hair is shrunken so her reaction is real right <laughs> now <laughs> to my to my hair because her nor my husband really get to see how long my hair has gotten or like what it is because I keep it wrapped away or I do it when they're both not um oh. when they're both not here right okay so yeah guys so moisturize your hair and not just with oil oh my god it was this thing that was going around YouTube like, but this was like years back when people were just using oils to moisturize your hair. Oil does not moisturize your hair. So I use the I use the um the lock method. Your face so ashy. <laughs> I use the um god damn it. Give me a paper towel from over there. I use the lock method. So I do liquid or leave-in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I use liquid or leave-in. Then I use um, oil. So yeah, LCL. So it's liquid cream than oil, which you can just use your mm -hmm. conditioner if you use a water-based um, leave-in conditioner and then oil that's what I do that's what I stick to and you want to know what's funny my daughter hair is different she needs liquid oil and then a cream her hair is so opposite than mine and you guys are probably like were you doing that too no I'm only putting the the oil on my scalp I do not oil my hair I put it I made a I made I made it a cream for my hair. Well, it's not really a cream, it's like a butter for my hair. So, liquid, so spray your hair, and then let me put it mine like this. So liquid, my warm water, because I need warm water. I'm low porosity, my hair loves heat. So warm water, cream, my leave-in conditioner, which is a cream-based, um, cream-based, or like a hair um, lotion and then oil which is for me my oils is my butters because typically they were made from oils yes my sister hair is so long no your sister hair is longer than this eh? yeah her hair is longer than this okay so 
So that's that. And now can bring you upstairs because he's in the You go downstairs with him so I can finish my video. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. So now oh drink water. <laughs> I'm glad that said drink water because I'm thirsty too, so People want to hear water. ASMR. Ain't that's what they call it? Okay. Drink water. Oh god. Drink water. Drink water daily. Drink water daily. It's like your body is the seed and it needs water to, to moisturize. <laughs> Y'all, I felt terribly at that. But uh, <laughs> that was funny. Drink water. Drink, drink it. I don't. I know I don't say it like three times, but water, 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 water. So yes, drink plenty of it. Um, how you know how much water you're supposed to drink per day? You calculate your weight. Well, you do your weight and you multiply it by two. That's how much water you're supposed to drink a day. If you work out, you can drink up to a gallon per day. Um, I think in my house, me and my husband, or me per se, I do it. I think I do a gallon per day. If not, then I probably drink like six bottles, but that's still a good amount um, for me because you're supposed to drink half of your 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 body weight so drink water and then my last tip i know some of y'all not gonna like this one but exercise and eat healthy yes you have to work out you have to eat healthy you have to take care of yourself being honest and definitely hair from the inside out Take your vitamins if you take vitamins. Um, food is medicine, which a lot of people don't um, like realize that. But food is medicine. So you really honestly have to make sure you're taking care of what needs to be, be taken care of in your needs. Okay. If you want healthy if you want healthy hair and like i said before you also need to learn your hair's porosity you cannot go off of what somebody else tell you to use on your hair especially products now these tips that i did give you please you can use them why because this hair care regimen is a one fit all literally Trim your ends, create a wash day routine, use more use products that works for only you, moisturize your hair at least every other day or every three days or every day if your hair drinks up so much moisture. Um, drink water, eat healthy, and exercise. Guys, it actually works. Um, sometimes, as like I said, I'm a lazy natural. We make things harder than what it's supposed to be. And guys, like I said, when I first went natural, I was very, very excited about it. So my tips that I'm telling you that I did, I actually did them every single week and my hair was flourishing. And then I stopped. I stopped caring and now I'm back to the point where I do care. I'm noticing the difference, especially on my wash days. I'm, I'm really noticing a difference um, in my hair. I'm noticing that my texture is like, yes, you fed me. You're doing what we're supposed to be doing and your hair will let. Okay, the camera hat went off. So your, your hair will let you know what you are doing right. It'll let you know what, you, what it's doing wrong. All of our hair is bound to grow. 
and bound to be healthy. Everybody has different textures of, of hair. I know I have like three or four different textures of my hair. So I just know, I, I don't even categorize my hair like 4B, 4C or any of that. My, or 4A, my hair is, has different um, hair textures. My curls in the front, like I have said before, they are way looser in the front than in around my edges. Like all of this right here is looser. And then the crown, the middle of my head, it's, it's, it's that. <laughs> that I have to take extremely extra care of my hair. So why not just do a one fit all and I cut my hair uneven. Did I? It feels like it. But so yeah. So with that being said, we are at the end of this video. I gave you guys five tips on how to take care of your hair and how to keep it healthy and how to keep it growing, okay? We're all liable for greatness, but long, kinky, curly, luxurious hair. Our hair is not nappy. Our hair is not unpresentable. It is beautiful. It is what is grown out of our heads. And guess what? Once you learn that about your hair and you learn how to take care of it, even if you are wearing um, wigs, when you learn how to take care of your hair, you in there. So, I am done. You were jackering. <laughs> I have, I'm done talking. Okay? I'm done talking. So, until next time, guys. And I don't know. Um, I don't know. But until next time, I don't know what the next video is going to be about. I don't know if it's going to be about hair. I don't know if it's going to be me cleaning. But I just wanted to do this video because I was asked to do it. And I was like, that's perfect timing. Because guess what? I had to do a wash day anyways. So, until next time, guys. Bye. And if you like, hit that like button. Comment down below. Okay.